Good morning, folks. Today we see a violent end to the solar slumber. We watch the antithesis of high solar activity prevail for weeks, including the Earth-facing quiet effect dominating a large sunspot. Just as it left Earth-facing positions over the last day, it destabilized and let loose a large eruption, an M6 class X-ray event that almost hit M level 7. A tremendous CME was ejected, rippling the coronal particles, the atmosphere of the sun. We expect immediate tropical storm intensification and will look ahead to earthquake coupling in two days. The CME itself will miss our planet, however, SOHO not updated, but Cactus shows the burst, and from the other side of the sun, Stereo A captured the cloud of particles leaving our star. When we come to spaceweathernews.com, we remain focused on the departing limb for another look at that eruption, but we also notice the large-scale coronal hole structures as well. Let's analyze. The solar flare was M6 class, as I said, relatively impulsive, and it produced such ionization of Earth's upper atmosphere that it shut down radio comms over the Pacific during the event. Although the CME cloud itself will miss, not all the planets will be spared. Eventually that will make it out to New Horizons at Pluto, and Saturn should be taking a whack as well. The tropical expectations were met when a new cyclone formation occurred right near where the previous ones had formed near the Vanuatu-Fiji-Tonga region. It also should couple with Earth for another large earthquake within about two days. And that's when the backside trans-equatorial extension of this dark coronal hole will be swinging in to face Earth, eyes open. Until then, the jam-packed coronal holes, one after another, continue to deliver intense streams of solar wind. Magnetic character in blue, the phi angle, shifting around a good deal the last couple days. Geomagnetic instability has been unable to be relieved as one thing after another is causing disruptions to Earth systems. Top news article today is this. Do you know what this is? It is solid evidence that not only does Galice 832 have a super-Earth likely in the habitable zone, but a smaller 1 to 15 Earth mass planet is likely orbiting between 0.25 and 2 AU from the star, meaning that an Earth-sized planet may be exactly Earth's distance away from that star. The solar system now has two potentially habitable planets we think we know about. Coming to the weather. We had flood events in both Afghanistan and Malawi. Remember, they already announced their food emergency from flood-related crop loss. The other cyclone on Earth right now is Fantala, churning powerfully off the coast of Madagascar, will stick around for a few days, kind of get stuck in that area. In the United States, central low isn't all that powerful, but by tonight, it will continue driving those late season snowstorms with lightning, hail, and tornado potential on the eastern convergence. Don't sleep on that one down south. Over in Europe, we've got systems bringing precipitation to both Scandinavia and the coasts of Portugal and Spain. Lows moving east-northeast slowly today and into tonight. I'm going to see if I can Shanghai Billy on Skype today for some discussion on last night's solar flare. We'll hopefully get that posted for you today if possible in the deeper look section of suspiciousobservers.org. Just click premium on the menu bar. Got shots of our star to close. It's 3.50 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.